here on EA Sports. Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabalski. What a playoff series this has been so far. Really looking forward to this one tonight. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Volkov taking the puck behind the net. Takes a shot. Here's a shot. And he catches that one with the glove. Well, this save is all about the compete to find the puck. I mean, it's a battle, and you're trying to outbattle your opponent. You can see him bobbing up and down, trying to find the puck. He finds it at the last minute, reacts, and makes the save. Oh, he exploded on him in the open ice. And there's the save. Here's a backhander. Scores! They came, they saw, they took advantage of the rebound and scored. Burns the goaltender on that one, picks up the rebound and buries it home. Boy, it looks frustrated now. James knows that you got to redirect that puck to a safe spot. The checkers and their fans are buzzing right now. How about that? A quick strike just minutes into this one. Well, that quick strike gets them on their feet. And listen, when you're playing, you can feel that energy. You feed off it when your home crowd is cheering for you, especially when you're playing well. No better way than getting on the board first. Steps inside the line. Puts it on there, and he's got that one. You gotta love the way he plays. He sees any real estate at all, and he's gonna try and drive through it, James. I mean, he uses his stick, he uses body position to be able to gain space, but unfortunately, the goaltender reads him and makes the save. Takes a shot, makes the save, and putting out the fire in front. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Moscow's got a hold of it against the wall. Belarus has possession of the puck in the offensive end. Nice save from point blank range. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Now he takes it over the line. Center into the middle. Scores! What a finish on the play! This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. Here in the back half of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Moscow's won the draw in the neutral zone. The checkers are in transition. Here's a chance to the middle. Oh, it comes up with a stop. Tees it up for the blue line. Oh, and another save. And another stop. Ferguson's all over that save. I mean, he's dialed in, and he recognizes where he has to be at the right time. There's the buzzer. Fans seem to enjoy that first 20 minutes. We'll get to the second period. Teams are back on the ice. Both squads gliding into position for the start of period number two. And we are underway and still tied up here in the second. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? Moscow's in a tie game, and really they're lucky they are, James, because their opponent is really taking it to them. Why? Because they've mismanaged the puck and they've had way too many turnovers. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Merkley. The Dynamos played along the boards. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. We are all tied up in this one. Moscow's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. And he shut the door on that last play. Taken down, and the officials caught it. Puck picked up in the open ice. Let's see what the official says here. 
Well, in this situation, he is going to get the tripping goal. I thought he had good position there on his opponent, James, fishing for the puck. Just used his stick, and it got into the skates. Tripping is the call. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice, the setup, the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. And that's broken up. The checkers play it near the point. Denies him. He got all of it. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Well, the game is played at such fast rate that sometimes you want to slow your opponent down, but if you take too much ice, it's going to be an interference call. little break for the defenseman here. One less forward to deal with as we have some four-on-four four hockey on tap. Well, four-on-four four is similar to three-on-three. Three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two-on-one all over. Shot! Oh, wide of the net! The Dynamos get a hold of the puck along the boards. And he coughs it up with the pass. And play continues as that goes off the glove. Positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. The checkers gain possession along the wall. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Carries it across the line. There's a shot! And that's off the club and will play on! Ferguson's been dialed in right from puck drop, James. I mean, he's made the key saves that he's need to make, and it's all about for a tender managing the momentum swings of the game and the timeliness of the saves have really given his team an opportunity. And a strong effort on that play. Here they come on the attack. Quick shot! What a stop right there! Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. From the point, looks to make something happen. There's the whistle, and here's the call. The checkers will now be under man with a cross-checking penalty. <laughs> Belarus is ready to go back to work on special teams. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. Belarus wins possession right off the draw. Just slide. Moves the puck along the half wall. Gets his stick on it. Oh, he saved it. What a stop. Now that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he is behind him. He's going to be the foundation. Tonight. They are really pouring on the pressure here. Here's it around. Dishes it off. Shot from the bridge. Oh, what a save on the play. There's the whistle. We'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. Two periods down, one more to go, at least for now, right? Third period, just around the corner. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. The next goal will be a critical one as we are still tied, getting underway here in the third. Moves into the slot, and that's blocked away. Now over to Merkley. Sean gets a piece of it to keep it out. Well, you know he works on his rebound control all the time in practice, James. What I love about him is just that he gets to the right position. I mean, if you don't have the right angle on the shot, guess what? You are giving up rebounds. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. It's all tied up. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Grabs control of it at the point. Scores! And look at that, the rookie gets in on the playoff story. Now talk about embracing the nervous energy. Now he can take a breath, feel good about himself, and let the creativity. 
creativity flow. Well, the goaltender has no chance of catching up to this puck. I mean, man, he put some hot sauce, some pepper, and some mustard on this quick release shot all at once. Moscow's got the lead here in period number three. So, Cheryl, do you protect or do you keep on pushing now? I think there's a fine balance here. I mean, you don't just want to play to hold on. You want to attack for the win, James, but you got to recognize where you are on the ice and you got to trust who you put out there. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Tough defensive zone turnover. Now everyone's caught out of position trying to cover, except for the shooter, of course, who has all the time in the world to put it top bins. Moscow's been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense, and they lead here in the third. The Dynamos win the draw. Nice speed at center, moves up ahead now. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. There's another stop. Yeah, late in the game, you want to find a way to just get the puck out. You want to make sure you protect the middle of the ice. And listen, if your opponent doesn't have the puck in their offensive zone, guess what? You're in a good position. And he turns that one aside. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Takes the feed at the point. Oh, makes the save. That was a rocket. Slides the puck over. Shot. And that one stopped. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. A critical face-off looms here. And the extra attacker is on the ice, James. So much pressure on the center to win this draw. Belarus wins the draw. And now it's grabbed by Richie. Turns him away. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. The Checkers have been the busier team in the shot department, and they lead it late in this third period. Off the face off, they take the puck. And the fans on their feet recognizing a strong set to the empty net. Cover, I feel like you must have had a few empty netters in your day. Oh, yeah, this I was on the back end. I didn't have hands, so when I scored one, this I celebrated. I was down in hell, <laughs> fist pumping everywhere, even when it was the empty net. Now you can see the body language on them, James. The dying moments of the game, and they're able to get the empty net goal. Everyone can take a deep breath here, as that should do it. Moscow's manufactured plenty of offense tonight, and they lead here late in this third period. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. There's the horn, and they're moving on to the next round. being able to close things out here at home in front of the fans in this boisterous crowd, acknowledging that they're moving on to the next round. Yeah, they really did embrace the pressure and embrace the cheers. They rallied around their fans, and that's really important because you got to find a way not to look at that pressure as weighing down on you, but thriving within it. And I thought that they did an excellent job and one of the reasons why they got through this round. Well, that brings a fun night of hockey to the end for all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James